Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with GTA Online. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to start a war with a small African country and name it the war of www.youtube.com forward slash Modest Pelican, as this really helps spread the good word of my channel. Meet Thick Man, a retired assassin who is on a mission to become the most powerful crime lord in Los Santos, whilst also ensuring he stays sufficiently hydrated at all times. These are the boys, 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 and together they form a feared gang known as the Sons of Virgins. These are their stories. Bruh. So I spawn in my submarine because this is my home now. I remember when I used to live on land like a peasant. Do you know who else lived the majority of their life on land? The lower socioeconomic civilians during the Middle Ages, also known as literal peasants. The good news is I purchased the helicopter for the sub to maximize efficiency. You see, I wanted to make some cash to fund today's video, so I did the Perico heist a few times on stream. $3 million in the bank, which is important, as we've got some big plans today. Later on, we're meeting up with another other YouTuber, the act man, and then buying our biggest and most impressive property yet. First, it's time to go and meet my boy Stealth Ocarbo on the beach. Hey Will, this is me and your girlfriend. Hey. <laughs> Sometimes you guys ask what it's like behind the scenes, and it's mostly just intellectual conversation where we push the constructs of society. I'm gonna try and get the tunnel like a boss, ready for this? <laughs> <laughs> so obviously I'm trying to become the most feared crime lord in Los Santos, but I don't even have a supercar, it's kind of pathetic. That changes now, and I proceed to purchase the Taypan for $1.98 million, which is being delivered to my property in the hills. We arrive at the shitty land house that doesn't even submerge underwater or shoot torpedoes, and Carbo slides across the hood of his car. It looks pretty cool I guess, so I kill him because I want to be the cool relatable one in the group. I then have a glass of fresh water, but if you look closely it's actually edited. Have you ever watched the cartoons on TV in this game? Basically, what's going on here is that this detective is reminiscing about the time he and his Mexican friend burnt a man alive. And meanwhile, his promiscuous receptionist is trying to get his attention with her dump truck. A surprisingly compelling story arc, but speaking of thickness, look at my new car. I didn't purchase this for its performance, but rather its impressive girth. I modify it, but I take way too long and Stealtho Carbo gets bored and goes AFK. I'm pretty impolite as I'm trying to exploit our friendship for content, so I use this opportunity to perform a prank that you can enjoy with your whole family. I didn't just buy this vehicle for a few cheap laughs though. You see a man called Sir Donny commented on one of my videos saying, You guys aren't a feared gang, you're more like virgin guys who kill everyone and everything you see. This comment really hurt me because he has both symbols in his name and an anime picture with a bowl cut so you you know he's not playing. It's time to prove to the likes of Sir Donny why the Sons of Virgins are definitely and unironically the most feared gang in all of GTA Online and probably the real world too. For example, there's this Mexican cartel known as the Knights Templar who force their new members to eat a child's heart as part of their initiation. It's pretty tough and messed up I guess, but the boys and I make our new members pay their own Xbox Live Gold subscriptions. Insane. From now on, this series is only going to focus on the most gruesome, hectic gangster life lifestyle you've ever seen. First though, I want to go and enjoy a sunset with my bro, because real bros appreciate the little things in life together and in the process make magical memories. Stealtho Carbo and I commence the long drive to the summit of Mount Chiliad, which is no joke, but we get it done because we support each other emotionally. We proceed to blow each other lots of little kisses, it's a really cute and nourishing moment. We then attempt to drift down the mountain and hit this jump, which we do perfectly first time. There's a jump? Oh no. No! Oh jeez. Oh, you hit it so well, I missed it again. No! <laughs> Right. Okay, now it's really time to be gangsters because I can't have a bowl cut anime boy belittling the Sons of Virgin's identity. It's time to focus on organized crime, excessive gun violence, and women. To show how serious we are about this, Carbo and I agree that there will be no bro smooches for at least 45 minutes. In fact, we're going to go and visit some ladies of the night right now. We drive over to Sandy Shores and locate a little snack, but she doesn't seem up for it. It might be because it's actually just some farmer enjoying a cigarette, what a little tease I'd still hit. The second attempt also goes pretty badly due to the fact I'm missing my passenger door. Gotta have a line, I guess. It's actually concerning how much of my channel's content is picking up hookers. This is more than just casual intimacy though, I'm testing Stealtho Carbo's morals. We get it done eventually and begin the elaborate exercise to see if the big man would have premarital relations. Oh wow. Wow, we're <laughs> exposed. Premarital sex. 
Why does my vehicle do that? <laughs> Your vehicle tried to help you. Why does it get I can't believe it either. I've known this guy for years and he has the audacity to pull a stunt like that. Naturally, I torch his car because it's no longer pure and to his credit, he goes down with it, which I think we can all respect. Edward J. Smith, the captain of the Titanic, famously went down with his vessel, but Carbo's actions today quite frankly make Edward look like a joke. If Carbo doesn't get his own three hour movie about this, I'm going to be visibly upset and likely cry myself to sleep. Of course I have to sell my own car for $1.27 million now that I know it's dirty little secret. It isn't hooker proof. Unlike my BF club, which has anti-hooker measures in place, should I ever be tempted. After all the upgrades I invested into the Taypan, that whole expedition set us back over a million dollars, but it's a small price to pay for purity. This car's also way more gangster, so Sir Donny, you can choke on D's nuts. I might be getting a little personal here with Donny, but I do hope his family dies in a car accident. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Just severe injuries. While I wait for my boy the Act Man to get online, which is an oxymoron, I decide to play yet another prank on some of the Los Santos locals. I notice two lads are going clothes shopping together, and so I park out the front. You see, one of these guys' names is Code Hazard YT, so I guess he has a YouTube channel too. I proceed to place bombs on their matching dirt bikes and then head inside. This might look toxic, but you've got to destroy the competition early. I can't have every kid and his dog trying to get into content creation, and so I proceed to do exactly what I have to do. I feel like the CEO of Robin Hood. Welcome to capitalist, I mean a communist free market. Of course I'm joking and we end up jet skiing around together and then chilling in the hot tub. I get out though because I realize Code Hazard is probably a Fortnite thing which means I'm chilling in a hot tub with miners. This is great content. Anyway, we've now clearly established how feared we are so I decide it's time I impart my knowledge. Meet the Act Man. It's his first time playing GTA Online, which is exciting. My first inclination was to get an oppressor and just kill him over and over again with heat-seeking missiles for an authentic experience, but I decide to show kindness instead. I'm going to teach Act Man the ways of the streets. I feel as if it's a rite of passage that the first thing he does is rob convenience stores. This took multiple attempts, but it was a good bonding experience. Alright, it's up to you if you want to cap- money. If you want to cap him or not. I mean, witnesses is- Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, shit. <laughs> My pistol has no ammo. It's alright, I don't think he knows that. Alright, buddy. I killed you once before, don't make me kill you again. Why are they all ethnic? <laughs> <laughs> well, hello, ethnic man. Alright, wait, no, no, wait, where's my grenade launcher? Yeah, that's right. That's right, buddy. Oh, Jesus, what was that? I don't know. <laughs> that was you, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, we got a chopper after us? It's almost like they don't like domestic terrorism or something. <laughs> <It's weird. laughs> yeah. If society wasn't scared of us before, they definitely are now. It's time to increase the stakes and sell some narcotics to emotionally charged teens. First I drive over to my motorcycle clubhouse so that we can determine who the better human is. Of course I win, which definitely has nothing to do with the fact my account is a way higher level than his with a better strength stat. I'm like a Russian Olympian, but instead of steroid abuse, I just never go outside. Did you choose their outfits or something? <laughs> I didn't. No, this is, this is generic outfits. Oh my god. It's perverse, but it gets the job done in a sexy way. <laughs> it gets the job done. Inviting Act Man on to then just have him help sell my product somehow seems unethical, but humble hustlers never sleep. I also love how my organization takes the subtle approach by delivering our fresh organic produce via low-flying helicopters in broad daylight. We finish up and pocket a cool $385,000. But at the workplace, it's important to have fun to help build a sense of harmony amongst the team, so we commence a helicopter deathmatch. Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Damn it. All right, you won. Hose him down. Hose him down, Act Man. He's too fast. He's so fast. He's touching the hose. There we I go, got him. him. <laughs> <laughs> Act Man knows the way to my heart, hosing people down until they die from excessive water intake. It wouldn't be a proper introduction to GTA if we didn't head down to the casino and engage in a little light-hearted gambling. After losing a bunch of money, we solved the problem with one easy trick that doctors don't want you to know. Goodbye, Act Man, and for real, it was great fun playing with you, my dude. Given that we were surprisingly productive and earned some good cash, I decided to invest into something I've been wanting to buy for a long time. First, though, I purchased the luxurious and on sale Oceros for $390,000 to fill that supercar-sized hole in my heart. 
I decide to go down to the drains and get a nice rustic shot of it in the sunset. It honestly looks a lot like the car I purchased earlier, minus the hooker residue. As I'm capturing some truly inspiring footage, I notice an NPC is sitting down here with impeccable posture and a pair of Beats headphones on. She's not homeless or anything, she's just chosen to perch down here which just doesn't make a lot of sense. I proceed to beat her to death as I don't like weird shit. With the new car sorted, it's time to make a big move. It's time Thick Man had his own underground facility as it'll open a lot of doors for us. I log on and purchase one located out near the wind farm. Sadly, I don't have the extra cash to splash out on an orbital cannon, but that will most definitely be a future upgrade. I guess we're now surrounded by a whole lot of renewable energy. I have no idea why, but I've always really liked the wind farm area of this map. It's pleasant to look at. This is a huge addition to our enterprise as it'll offer us more jobs, we can buy military military aircraft, and most importantly, look how big this space is. I estimate this area to be about 75 times as big as my basement. If I can hypothetically fit 7 small kids in my basement, then this could easily hold upwards of 500. The possibilities are endless. It's also got a whole lot of features that I'm really excited about. We've got the perfectly recreated Modest Pelican logo. We've got this guy who runs the weapons workshop and who I'm also pretty sure is that hooker from Sandy Shores. Way to move up in the world, champ. We've got a lot more of these logos, which makes me happy, I guess. I've even got two receptionists, which is living large. There's one that I want to have wild post-marital sexual encounters with, and then there's this blonde chick. Obviously, I really broke the bank with this purchase, so I couldn't upgrade the staff rec room. I'm pretty sure they forced captured prisoners of war to sit on seats like this. Then there's this guy who's busy watching a Modest Pelican stream on Twitch. I bet he gets all the ladies, that's for sure. So yeah, this is an exciting moment for the Sons of Virgins, and I look forward to properly checking this place out with the boys soon. If you enjoyed this video, please press like, it raises my serotonin levels. Thanks for watching, you legends, and until next time, stay classy.